Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. Well, if you're with me for my unboxing just a couple of days ago, you know that I have the 1975 set for season ticket. Last night, I'm trying to get back in the season ticket groove uh, and remember everything that I've forgotten. I did a sort of a spring training game. Uh, do you do this yourself? Uh, I have the 75 Red Sox on my tabletop and I had the 75 Dodgers come play them last night. And I just picked semi-random lineups, a lot of subs, two pitchers that were kind of, eh, Rick Roden for the Dodgers and Reggie Cleveland for the Red Sox. Anyway, turned into a Pier 6 Donnie Brook. A 14-14 tie when I ran out of pitchers I wanted to use after 10 innings. That was it. 32 hits, some errors. It was something. To, and Fenway Park, man, the Rockets were just flying out of there. Um, the Dodgers hit five home runs and the Red Sox hit three. So, yeah. A lot of power and a tiny park. Um, today, the Pittsburgh Pirates come a calling to Boston's Fenway Park. We got Bruce Keeson on the mound for Pittsburgh, Rick Wise on the mound for Boston, a couple of right handers. Should be fun. Let's get to today's starting lineups and roll some season ticket baseball. First time we've done that for a while on the channel. And don't forget to check out channel membership. I'm putting the link to channel membership in the description for this video with channel membership. You get discounts on the secondary store, a free gift from me every month, and an access to a large archive of members-only videos. Also, in the description for this video, I'm going to put the season ticket website in case you want to check that out there are some sales going on right now even as we speak all right let's get to those starting lineups and get to fenway park heads are exploding all over this great land of ours as i chose the lineups rennie stennett leads off for pittsburgh at second richie hebner bats second at third base richie zisk bats third in left field Willie Stargell bats fourth. He's the DH today. Dave Parker in right. He'll bat fifth. Al Oliver bats sixth. He's in center field. Ed Kirkpatrick plays first base. He'll bat seventh. Manny Sanguian bats eighth. He'll catch. And Frank Tavares bats ninth. And he'll play short. On the mound, it's Bruce Keeson. In 1975, he was 12 and 11 with a 3.23 earned run average. All right, we're in an American League park using the DH. And that's Cecil Cooper leading off for the Red Sox. He's the DH. Denny Doyle bat second at second base. I know he was an in season acquisition, but he's playing today. Carl Yastrzemski bats third. He'll play first. Carlton Fisk bats fourth. He'll catch. Fred Lynn bats fifth, he's in center. Jim Rice bats sixth, he's in left. Bernie Carbo bats seventh, he's in right. Rico Petroselli bats eighth, he's at third. And Rick Burleson bats ninth. He'll be the shortstop. Rick Wise is on the mound, 19 and 12 with a 395 earned run average in 1975. All right, here we go. Let's adjust our lighting appropriately. There we go. I think that's better. And Rick Wise has finished his warm-up pitches. When we do season ticket baseball, we need a red D6, a white D10, and a blue D10. We read them in that order. And the pitch to Rennie Stennett is a 379. And that's going to be a base hit for Rennie Stennett to start the ball game. And we're... Very much continuing our pattern from last night. Here's Richie Hebner. The stretch by Wise and the pitch to Richie. 
is a 417, and that's going to be hit to right, and it's going to drive Bernie Carbo back, but he's got room and makes the catch. Stennett retreats to first, and here's Richie Zisk. Why is the stretch? The pitch to Zisk. 384 is a hit to Petroselli at third. He fires to Doyle for one, and the relay to Yastrzemski is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing around the horn and inning ending. 5 4 3 double play. And we'll go to the bottom of the first. It's the Pirates nothing and the Red Sox coming to bat. Here's Coop. Keeson wines and deals. This will be a defense check for the aforementioned Ed Kirkpatrick at first base. That is a 539, and that is going to be booted by Kirkpatrick. And that will allow Cooper to reach. Denny Doyle comes to the plate. Red Sox looking for an early lead. Keese in the stretch and the pitch to Doyle is swung on by Denny and it is bounced to Kirkpatrick at first. He's going to fire to Tavares for one. The relay back to Big Ed Kirkpatrick is late. Doyle beats the rap. He's safe on a fielder's choice. Cooper retired 3-6. Here's Yaz. Keese in the stretch and the pitch to Yaz. That'll be our first check on the ballpark chart, a 652. And that's going to be bounced to Kirkpatrick. Big Ed gloves it to his right. He's going to feed Keeson covering. And that will allow Doyle to move to second with two outs as Yaz is retired. Here's Carlton Fisk. Did not play in last night's game. The wind and the delivery by, or the stretch and the delivery by Keeson is a ground ball hit to Tavares at short. Frank charges, throws on the run to Kirkpatrick, and that will retire the side. So both teams get a base runner, but neither team can do anything with them. We go to the second, and we have no score in Boston. Rick Wise comes out for inning number two. He'll face Willie Stargell, Dave Parker, Al Oliver, three lefty batters for the Buckos. The pitch. Uh, and this is going to be hit to Petroselli at third. He gobbles it up to his left and fires with that strong arm to Carl Yastrzemski at first. And Stargell is retired to start the second inning. Now it's Dave Parker, the Cobra. The pitch from Wise is swung on by Parker. And that is going to be to center field. Fred Lynn makes the catch for out number two. Here's Al Oliver with nobody on base. Wise kicks and deals. And this is hit. Boy, another one. Another fielding check. This is hit to center. And Lynn makes this catch. Four out, number three. So Fred Lynn getting his road work in today. We've played inning and a half, and we have no score in Boston. Bottom of the second coming. Fred Lynn, Jim Rice, Bernie Carbo. Uh, coming up in the bottom of the second against Keeson. The wind-up and the delivery by Bruce Keeson. And he struck him out. He got him with the cheese. One down in the second. Jim Rice, the other gold dust twin, comes to the plate. Keeson winds and delivers. Bouncing ball to Ed Kirkpatrick at first. He loves it. Feeds Keeson. And there's two away in the Boston second. Boy, is this different than last night's affair. Here's Carbo. Keeson kicks and delivers. 
And we have our ballpark check one more time. Carbo hits it to Tavares at short. He cuts it off from going up the middle. Plants and throws to Kirkpatrick for out number three in inning number two. We go to the third, and your score is Pittsburgh nothing and Boston nothing. Kirkpatrick, Sanguin, and Tavares coming up in inning number three. Ed Kirkpatrick. Facing wise, the delivery from Rick is a is deep to right. You know, we didn't do, we didn't check our weather. Let's do that quickly. We have a deep drive to right. Uh, but let's figure out what our base temperature is. We got a, we're going to say this is a day game. We got a 13. And your base temp is 43, so it's a 56-degree day, so that's not going to be a change. Let's see what the drive is to deep right. Ed Kirkpatrick's power number is a 7. That's a 2. That makes it a 9, and Kirkpatrick drills a single. But it's a shot into right field. Carbo collects it and throws it back in. Here's Manny Sanguian coming to the plate. One on with one out for Manny Sanguian. Tavares is on deck. The stretch by Wise and the delivery is swung on. And that is hit to deep left field. Sanguian's power is a five. This is a 7. That makes 12. And it's going to be an extra base hit. It's going to be off the monster. Kirkpatrick around second. He's going to stop at third with nobody out. And Tavares comes to the plate with a chance to put the Buckos on top. Uh, Kirkpatrick at third. Sanguian at second. Nobody out here in the third. Infield is back. Wise the stretch and the delivery. And we'll go back to the ballpark chart for a 6-10 and hey, struck him out and he needed it. There's one down. Coming up now is the top of the order for the Buckos. That's Rennie Stennett. One for one. Why is the stretch and the pitch to Rennie? Is hit in the air to left. Um... Shallow left. Rice is going to make the catch. Kirkpatrick cannot tag in advance. There's two away. Richie Hebner now. Need, the Pirates need a two-out hit to get on the board. Zisk would be next. Wise the stretch and the pitch to Hebner. And Hebner gets hit by the pitch. Rick Wise just drilled him. Bases are loaded full of buckos, and here's Richie Zisk. All right, Zisk, a 290 hitter in 1975. But there's two outs. Rick Wise just needs one good pitch, and he can get out of the mess. The stretch by Wise, the pitch to Zisk. And a base hit for Richie Zisk. He's not, Wise is not getting out of the mess. That is going to score Kirkpatrick. That is going to score Sanguian. And it's going to send Hebner to third. It's a 2 nothing Pirate lead on a Richie Zisk single. And that'll bring up Willie Stargell, or as Bob Prince called him, Willie the Starge. I don't know. I don't have an explanation for that one, my friends. The pitch from Wise to Willie the Starge. Uh, and that is going to be hit to Coop, hit to Yastrzemski at first. He's going to take it to the bag, unassisted for out number three. But in the third, the Pirates get two runs. On three hits, they leave two. We go to the bottom of three, and your score is Pittsburgh two and Boston nothing. 
Rico Petroselli, Rick Burleson, and Cecil Cooper, 891 coming up for Daryl Johnson's men. The pitch by Keeson is deep to left for Rico. Let's see if he ate his Wheaties this morning. He's got a power number of four. And that's going to be a little blooper just fair down that left field line. Around first is Rico. He's coming to second. The throw coming from Zisk to Stennett is late. Rico slides in safely with a double. Now it's Burleson. Red Sox looking to add there to cut into this pirate lead. The stretch by Keeson in the pitch. Uh, is hit to third. That's Hebner. He looks Petroselli back and throws to Kirkpatrick for out number one. Cecil Cooper up there now. The stretch by Keeson, the pitch to Coop. Is going to be a defense check for Al Oliver. And it's going to drop for a base hit. Into right center. Around third comes Petroselli. He's going to score, and it's 2-1 to one, Pittsburgh. An RBI single by Cecil Cooper. And that'll bring up Denny Doyle. Doyle's 0 for 1. Keese in the stretch and the delivery. Uh, is a ground ball hit to Kirkpatrick to his right. He gloves it. Fires to Tavares for 1. Scrambles to get back to the base, but Doyle beats the rap, and he's safe on a fielder's choice. And so it'll be two outs, and Yastrzemski coming to the plate. Fisk would be next. Keese in the stretch and the delivery. Hey, struck him out and gets out of the mess. Second strikeout for Bruce. We go to the fourth. And your score is Pittsburgh 2 and Boston 1. Red Sox got a run on two hits in the bottom of the third. So Rick Wise is going to try and right the ship in the fourth inning. He'll face Parker, Oliver, and Kirkpatrick. Three lefty batters coming up. Parker's 0 for 1. Wise kicks and deals. And we'll go back to that ballpark chart. 660 is going to be bounced past Fisk for a wild one, but nobody's on base, so nobody cares. Next delivery is swung on by Parker. And it's drilled to the triangle in center. It's going to be off the wall. Freddie Lynn's going to run it down. Parker around second, heading for third. He's going to get there standing, and it's a leadoff triple for the Cobra. Red Sox infield is going to play in at the corners and back up the middle for Al Oliver. 0 for 1 for A.O., or they call him Scoop, which I always thought was an odd nickname for a center fielder. A little bit of a joke there. He played a lot of first, too. The pitch is hey struck out oliver with the broccoli cauliflower medley gas one out in the fourth he got a needed strikeout right there and here's ed kirkpatrick he's one for one wise wines and deals kirkpatrick Strikes out. Two down. Wise humped up on that fastball. And he can get out of this now by retiring Manny Sanguian after a leadoff triple started the inning. The Cobra stands at third base. The pitch by Wise to Sanguian. Is a little jam job blooper. Is it going to get over the head of Denny Doyle? Yes, it is. Into right field. Parker trots home. It's 3-1 to one Pirates on an RBI bloop single by Manny Sanguian. And that'll bring up Frank Tavares. All right.
Stennett would be next at the top of the Pittsburgh order. The pitch by Wise to Tavares. And we're back to the ballpark. 675 is a base hit. And that is going to send Sanguia to third base. Pirates at the corners with two outs here in the fourth for Rennie Stennett. Richie Hebner would be next. Wise the stretch, the pitch to Stennett. Base hit for Rennie Stennett. Ah, that will score Sanguian. And stopping at second will be Frank Tavares. Four to one Pittsburgh, and there's movement, but no one's throwing yet in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Oh, I guess, yeah, now someone is. And that would be Roger Rogelio Moret. Starting to throw, and alongside him, Dick Pohl. Neither man pitched in last night's game. Lefty-righty double-barrel action, just the way Daryl Johnson likes it with his clam chowder. 4-1 Boston here in the fourth. Here's Hebner. Tavares at second, Stennett at first. Wise the stretch and the delivery. And it's bounced to, to Yaz at first. He's going to flip to Wise, and that will retire the side. But in the fourth, the Pirates get two runs on four hits, and they leave two. We've played three and a half. It's Pittsburgh four and Boston one. Well, the Red Sox are going to try and strike back in the bottom of the fourth. They got Fisk, Lynn, and Rice coming up. Pretty good trio. Bruce Keeson winds and delivers. And this one is a base hit for Carlton Fisk. Goes to center field, collected by Oliver. A leadoff single for the Red Sox. Here's Freddie Lynn. Keeson the stretch, the pitch to Lynn. Is bounced by Keeson and gets past Manny Sanguian. That's a wild pitch, and Fisk goes down to second base. Keys in the stretch now, and another delivery to Lynn. He walked him. So some control trouble for Keeson here in the bottom of the fourth. Brings up Jim Rice. The Pirate infield moves to double play depth. Keys in the stretch and the delivery to Jim Rice. And that is... A fly ball to center field. That's going to drive Oliver back into the triangle. He makes the catch. Fisk tags and goes to third. Oliver gets the throw in. There's Red Sox at the corners now for Bernie Carbo. The stretch by Keeson, the infield at double play depth. Rico Petroselli is on deck, the pitch. This is a defense check for Manny Sanguian. And a 524 is ball four. He walks Carbo. The bases are dripping with Red Sox. Now it is starting to feel like last night's game. Here's Rico Petroselli. He doubled and scored just last inning. Burleson's on deck. The pitch. Uh, popped him up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Drifting into foul territory is Frank Tavares. And he's got it for out number two. Now it's Rick Burleson with Fisk at third, Lynn at second, Carbo at first, and two men out. Cooper would be next. The stretch by Keeson and the delivery is going to be a defense check for Dave Parker. And it's not, he can't handle the truth. It's going to rattle around in the corner for extra bases. Look at the rooster around first base heading to second. 
Uh, that's going to score Fisk. That's going to score Lynn. And that is going to score Carbo all the way from first. It's a bases clearing double with two outs for Rick Burleson. We're tied at four in the bottom of the fourth. And Cooper comes to the plate. Keese in the stretch and the pitch to Coop. Is hit to Kirkpatrick. One more time, he's going to feed Geese in covering, and that will retire the Red Sox in the fourth. But they get three runs on two hits. Say it with me. Oh, those bases on balls. We go to the fifth, and we have a brand-new game. It's the Pirates four and the Red Sox four. Rick Wise feeling a little better about life right about now as he strolls out to the mound for inning number five. Zisk, Stargell, and Parker, the meat of Danny Murtaugh's order, coming up in the top of the fifth. Zisk is one for two. The pitch is hit to left and deep by Zisk. His power number is an eight. Ugh. Let's see if he got it. No, he didn't. It's a base hit for Zisk. He will hold on at first base with a leadoff single, and the combo of Moret and Pohl get working again in the Boston bullpen. Willie Stargell comes to the plate. He's a very dangerous 0 for 2. The stretch by Wise, the delivery to Stargell. Is swung on and hit to right and deep. Back goes Carbo to the track. He's got it for out number one. Zisk retreats to first. And that'll bring up the Cobra, who tripled and scored last inning. The stretch by Wise. The pitch to Dave Parker. And it's chopped on the infield. Off Wise's glove, rolling toward Burleson. Rick has no play. Zisk will advance to second. Parker safe at first on an infield hit. And Al Oliver comes to the plate with just one out. Kirkpatrick is on deck. The stretch by Wise and the pitch to Oliver. This one is hit to right. Carbo over by the foul line is going to make the catch. Holding at second will be Zisk. Two on with two outs for Ed Kirkpatrick. Ed is one for two. The stretch by Wise and the pitch to Ed Kirkpatrick. Going to be a rare play check. So, let's figure that out. Um, here we go. And timeout. And it's a sinking line drive caught by a running and diving Freddie Lynn to retire the side in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. We're halfway through this one, and we've decided nothing. It's Pittsburgh four and Boston four. Keeson will face Doyle, Yastrzemski, and Fisk two, three, four in the Boston fifth. Keeson kicks and deals. This is a fly ball hit to center. Can of corn for Al Oliver, and he's got it for out number one. Carl Yastrzemski's up there now. The pitch. And we'll go to the ballpark chart. 606. Hey, struck him out. Strikeout number three for Bruce Keeson. Two down in the fifth, and now Fisk, one for two. Freddie Lynn would be next. The 1975 MVP and Rookie of the Year. The pitch uh, is swung on and hit to left and deep. Back goes Zisk. Warning track wall and Fisk has left the building. 5-4 Boston in the bottom of the fifth. Keeson's leaking oil out there on the mound. Here's Fred Lynn. 0 for 1. The pitch is popped up. Drifting into foul territory is Rennie Stennett. And he's got it for out number 3. 
But in the fifth, the Red Sox get a run on the home run by Carlton Fisk. We go to the sixth, and your score is Boston 5 and Pittsburgh 4. There is action in the Pittsburgh bullpen. As Rick Wise is getting ready to face... Sanguian, Tavares, and the top of the order with Rennie Stennett. Uh, and Bob Moose is getting ready. In the Pirate bullpen, he's a right-hander. All right, Sanguian at two for two, leading it off. The delivery is drilled for a base hit to left by Sanguian, a leadoff single. Rick Wise's struggles continue. Here's Frank Tavares. Wise the stretch, the pitch to the one for two Pirate shortstop. This is going to be a fielding check for Carlton Fisk, and I struck him out. Look at him frame the pitch. Four strikeouts for Rick Wise. Top of the order now in Rennie Stennett. The stretch by Wise, the pitch. Uh, is hit to center, but not deep. Little jam job blooper. Here's Freddie Lynn. He's got it for out number one. Number two, excuse me. Sanguian still at first. Here's Hebner. Wise the stretch and the pitch to Richie. Is hit to second. Denny Doyle gloves it. Throws to Yaz at first, and that will retire the side. After five and a half, it's the Red Sox five and the Pirates four. And Keeson is going to start the sixth inning. Although, Bob Moose looks ready in that Pirate bullpen. The wind and the delivery by Keeson to Rice, who will lead it off and be followed by Carbo and Petroselli. And it's a comebacker to Bruce Keese, and he takes a few steps toward Kirkpatrick, throws him the ball, and there's one down in the Boston sixth. Here's Carbo. Bernie's 0 for 1. The pitch is hit to center and deep. Way back is Al Oliver to the track. He's got it for out number two. One more biscuit for breakfast, and Bernie puts it in the same spot. He hit one in the Game 6 of the 75 Series. But no. Keeson now to Petroselli with nobody on. And that is a comebacker to Bruce. He's going to get his second 1-2-3 inning. He, under, he underhands it to Kirkpatrick, and that is going to retire the side. We go to the seventh, and it's Boston five and Pittsburgh four. Rick Wise gets the meat of the Pirate lineup here in the seventh. Zisk, Stargell, and Parker, the pitch. Uh, and this is hit to Burleson at short. And he gobbles it up, throws to Yastrzemski, and there's one down in the Pirate seventh. Wise is now fatigued. The wind-up and the delivery to Stargell. And Stargell drills this one to the left, to the right center field gap, and it's going to split Carbo and Lynn and go to the wall. Willie around first. He's going to take second with a one-out double, and here's Dave Parker. And here's Daryl Johnson. That's going to be it for Rick Wise. So Rick's day is done. You can stick a fork in him. Six and a third innings of work. Twelve base hits allowed. He didn't walk anybody. He struck out three. He allowed four runs so far. They are all earned. Uh, Stargell at second is his responsibility. And Roger... Moret is on to face him in 19 uh, to face Parker in 1975 Moret was 14 and 3 with a 3.60 earned run average he's facing Parker who's 2 for 3 in this game Moret of course a left-hander Oliver on deck the pitch to the Cobra 
And it's popped up. Denny Doyle in foul territory, calling and taking for out number two. That'll bring up Oliver. Kirkpatrick would be next. AO is 0 for 3, the pitch. This is hit to left. Chance for Jim Rice. And he's got it for out number three. So a one out double does not bear fruit for Danny Murtaugh's men. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's time to stretch him out in Boston with no sign of Neil Diamond or Sweet Caroline. And your score is Boston in Boston five and Pittsburgh four. Keeson is still fatigued, but he's still out there. Uh, he's got Burleson, Cooper, and Doyle coming up in the bottom of the seventh. The pitch to Rick Burleson. This is hit to Stennett at second base. He gloves it to his left. Plants and throws to Ed Kirkpatrick for out number one. Coming up now is Cecil Cooper. Coop is one for three. The pitch is going to be a ground ball pulled to Stennett at second. He scoops it up, fires to Kirkpatrick, and there's two away in the Boston Seventh, and now it's the 0 for 3, Denny Doyle. Carl Yastrzemski would be next, the pitch. And Rennie Stennett's going to tie a record held by many. Ground ball to Rennie. He throws to Kirkpatrick, and that will retire the side in the seventh. We go to the eighth. That's, well, we had a good one. It's Boston 5 and Pittsburgh 4. Um... Moret is out for inning number two of work, and it's Kirkpatrick due up, and they're going to hit for him. So let's see who comes out of that pirate dugout to hit for Big Ed Kirkpatrick. And I think I know exactly who it's going to be. It's going to be Bob Robertson slugging Bob Robertson the redhead. Coming to bat for Kirkpatrick, and doubtless will stay in the game to play first base in the bottom of the eighth. Sanguian is on deck. All right. Now I think I've got myself organized. Here we go. Bob Robertson leading off the eighth, the pitch to him is she struck him out. Moret made him look sick on a bender. One strikeout now for Moret, and here is Manny Sanguian. Dick Drago has taken off his jacket, and he is starting to throw in the Red Sox bullpen. He also did not pitch in last night's game, although they probably could have used him. Sanguian's got a three-for-three three day going. The pitch from Moret. This is hit back to Moret. It's a comebacker. He gloves it. Throws to Yastrzemski, and there's two away in the Pittsburgh eighth. Now it's Tavares. One for three. Moret deals. And this is going to be ball four. He walked him. Now we got to do a... Base runner check here because he is going to try. Oh, he only stole 17. That's interesting. Danny Murtaugh put the brakes on him. But we're going to try to uh, to get him to steal here. With two outs here in the eighth. All right. Going for the lead, first of all. The hold rating the to beat is a 14. Tavares's steal number is a 3. And he does beat the hold number. So, uh, he's going to steal. 
Now we got to look up Fisk's throwing rating, and that is a 5. So we're trying to beat a 15 here. And we got a six. Oh, we got a steel rating. Yeah, I did that right. All right, we got a six. And Tavares does steal second. Fisk's throw down to Denny Doyle is late. And now Stenick can tie this game with a base hit. Morat the stretch, the pitch to Rennie. This is hit to Yastrzemski at first. Yaz is going to take it to the bag unassisted for out number three. Roger Moret makes the clutch pitch when he needs it. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's Boston five and Pittsburgh four. Bob Robertson indeed does come out to play first base here in the bottom of the eighth. And we're going to get a new Pirate pitcher, Bob Moose, at long last, is coming in the game. So Bruce Keeson's done. You can stick a fork in him after seven innings of work. Uh, Keeson allowed two, four, five base hits, one of them a home run. He walked two. He struck out three. He allowed five runs. They're all earned. And he's on the hook for the loss unless the Pirates can rally. Bob Moose in 1975 was 2-2 two and two with a 372 earned run average. Uh, 23, five starts and 18 relief appearances. He's a right-hander. And he's going to face Yastrzemski, Fisk, and Lynn in the Boston eighth inning. Okay, Dick Drago is getting ready in that... Boston Penn, we'll see if he's coming out for the ninth, or is Roger Moret going to try and finish the game? Moose winds and deals to Yaz. Mm, and it's chopped on the infield. It's off Robertson's glove, rolling towards Stennett. Yastrzemski hustling all the way, has an infield hit. Now it's Fisk. Moose the stretch, the pitch to Fisk. A comebacker hit to Moose. He turns and fires to Tavares at second for one. The relay to Bob Robertson in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing 1-6-3 double play turned by the Buckos. And that'll bring up Fred Lynn with two outs and nobody on. Moose winds and deals. And uh, he walks Lynn. Lynn draws a two-out walk. That'll bring up Jim Rice. The Pittsburgh bullpen is cooking. And that would be Dave Justy and Ramon Hernandez lefty-righty double-barreled action. Just the way Danny Murtaugh likes it whenever he's in Beantown. All right, Rice 0 for 3. Carbo would be next, the pitch. This is hit to Robertson at first. A 535 is he's going to glove it, and he's going to take it to the bag. Unassisted for out number 3. Well, the Red Sox tried for an insurance run, or as they say in central Illinois, insurance. In the bottom of the eighth, but they didn't get it. We go to the ninth, and your score, Boston 5 and Pittsburgh 4. Drago looks ready in the bullpen, but Hebner is scheduled to lead it off. And so Moret is out there on the mound. Looking at the Pirate bench, there's Willie Randolph, Duffy Dyer, Mario Mendoza, Bob Robertson, Bob Ro Bill Robinson, and Art Howe. I don't see anybody there that I'm just itching to get to the plate, so we're going to let Hebner bat against the left-hander, even though he didn't do a lot of that. Moret wines and deals to Richie, 
And this is a 645. That's going to be bounce to Burleson at short. He fires to Yastrzemski, and there's one down in the Pirate ninth. Richie Ziss coming up with Stargell on deck. Moret kicks and deals. This is to right. Carbo, it's going to drop for a base hit. There's the tying run. We're going to get a pinch runner for Richie Zisk. Uh, one on with one out. Stargell coming to the plate, and it's a lefty-lefty matchup. The pinch runner for Richie Zisk will be the aforementioned Willie Randolph. Yep, Willie Randolph will run for Zisk. So he's at first. And here is Stargell. Willie the Starge against Roger Moret. The stretch by Roger. The delivery to Stargell. Hey, struck him out. That's number two for Moret. That's also two outs in the Pirate ninth. He got him with the high cheese. And Dave Parker comes to the plate. Moret trying to finish the deal. Dave Parker, the last chance saloon with Willie Randolph at first. 5-4 Boston. The stretch by Moret and the delivery. This is hit to center. Fred Lynn is going to make the catch. And it's a Boston Red Sox winner. Let's give you the totals. On this one. Wow, great game. For the homestanding and victorious Red Sox, five runs, only six base hits, and they committed uh, no errors. The Buckos, four runs, 13 base hits. They had chances, and they committed. One error. The winning pitcher is Rick Wise. The loss goes to Bruce Keeson. A save for Roger Rogelio Moret. The MVP of the game will give it to Fisk for a two for four performance, including the home run that turned into the lead run or the winning run right there. With an honorable mention to Rick Burleson, who hit a clutch bases clearing double in the fourth to tie the game at the time. That's going to do it from here. This is Season Ticket Baseball. Don't forget to check out the link to Season Ticket Baseball in the description for this video, along with the link to channel membership. Remember, with channel membership, you get access to members only videos. You get a free gift from me every month, and you get discounts on the secondary store. You can't beat that value. All right. For now, your final from Fenway Park in Boston. The 75 Red Sox 5, the 75 Pirates 4. Have a great evening. So long, everybody.